Good morning, family. So I hope you guys are doing wonderful today. If you're new to the channel, my name is Shanina. How are you? Um, so you guys, we're going to continue on with the next page in our prayers uh, with Purpose for Women. Yesterday, if you guys um, saw my vlog yesterday, we started with the very first page. So we went through the introduction, um, read the back, and then our first page was a um the power of god's word my bible god's word is the truth and then it gives us a, a scripture from john the book of john so we're moving on to our next page which is light for understanding so lord your oh well let's read the scripture first it says your word is a lamp to my feet and a light for my path psalms 119 105 lord your word is a lamp in my darkness, a flashlight on the path of life that helps me see the way. Your words enlighten me with wisdom, insight, and hope, even when I cannot see where I'm going or how things will turn out. I'm so glad that you know the right direction. You have gone before me and are always with me, so I don't need to be afraid. I choose to follow your leading. Cause I'm putting spinach in mine and kind of trail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you pass me the ice tray. I feel good. I feel good. I feel good. Feel good. Feel good. I feel good. Feel good. Feel good. Feel good. Woke up this morning feeling a little strange. The state is for me. I don't feel any pain. I don't understand it. Just like a starry day. This brand new orbit is where I want to stay. Go somewhere past the See him all that close now. Don't even know how. So I'm done making the smoothie. It doesn't look that great, but it does actually taste pretty good. I've never done this combination before, so I was just kind of winging it. But it tastes really, really good. It looks like mud water, but it tastes like blueberries. And then you can kind of taste the pineapple a little bit. Um, the spinach, you can't really taste it. I didn't put a whole lot in there. I was kind of scared. That was my first time putting spinach in a smoothie, so I was kind of scared. But... It tastes good. Okay, y'all. So it's the next day, or shall I say next night? <laughs> Had to work all day today, y'all. So I'm cooking dinner late. 
So I fried up some pork chops. I forgot I even had those in the deep freezer. Which, by the way, I need to probably rearrange my deep freezer and stuff. Because I want to get, babe, um, an Oreo cake. Ice cream cake. And it's definitely not going to fit in there. So I'm going to have to rearrange my deep freezer and regular freezer. But I went to the mailbox. And... I got my second fragrance from Scentbird. So if you guys are new to the channel, um, I talked about Scentbird the a couple times on this channel. It's ba basically a fragrance subscription. So you go to the website and um, you can choose a fragrance for the month. Sometimes they'll have like a discount on the uh, when you first uh, sign up. Sometimes they don't. But if they don't, it's like $15 a month. And um, you could just pick your fragrances. Now, this last month I got Casanova 2161. I think that's what it was called. And at first, um, I was kind of taken off by the initial smell of it. But once it sinks in and, you know, kind of calms down a little bit, then it smells really good. And this one, they sent me Calvin Klein Endless Euphoria. I didn't pick this one, but I did get an email about the one that I did pick. And I think it. I think if I understood the email correctly, it was in high demand and I guess they ran out. So they just randomly chose a fragrance for me. Um, and then I was able to go in and choose the fragrance for the next month. So I think this is considered my June because when I signed up, it was technically at the end of the month. So the one that I got last month, I think was for this month. And I think this is my June scent. So I have to go on my account to make sure. But, um... You guys check it out if you're trying to like test out fragrances and want to smell before actually spending, you know, 50, 60, 100 dollars on a full bottle of fragrance and risking that chance of not even liking it. This is a good way to test them out. They come like this. Um, when you first get it, your first one is going to come with a case um, that you can put these in and they last. Well, it's, they say it lasts for 30 days. But, you guys, I still have the one from last month. So, um, and I don't wear it every single day. I have other fragrances. So, if you have other fragrances that you wear and you're not wearing this every day, um, then it can last. And you can build up a pretty good collection. Now, the other thing that I like about Scentbird is if you don't like the scent, you can send it, you know, switch it out and have something else sent to you. But, I just keep them, um... So far, this is my second one, but so far I've been liking what's uh, been sent. And even this one, I smelt it already. I sprayed it on my arm. But the scent notes, it is a fruity floral scent. Translate the provocate, <laughs> provocative girl. Okay. Translate the provocative fantasy of the signature into a sunlit daydream filled with cherry blossoms. Ooh. For some reason, I gravitate towards cherry blossoms. Okay, so cherry blossom, mandarin, uh, syringa, bamboo, bear musk accord. So those are the notes. And yeah, so far I like it. I mean, it smells pretty good. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Shanina. How are you? fixing Olivia some lunch. Well, I'm fixing us some lunch. I just stuck some chicken nuggets and some waffle fries in the freezer because, girl, I'm getting hungry. Let's sit you guys down for a second. I am getting so hungry right now. And I need to not wait until it's dinner time. I mean, it's lunch time. I don't even know what I'm fixing for dinner. Um, last night, I think there's a few pork chops left over, I think. So, I don't know, y'all. I don't know if it's going to be like a free-for-all or what's it going to be. But, I didn't see anything out specific to cook today. Like to throw in a crock pot or anything like that. So, we'll just have to see. But, it is Sunday. So, happy Sunday, you guys. How... Did your weekend go? I hope everybody was safe. I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. Whatever they decided to do. You guys. Yesterday I was working. 
so nothing really happened yesterday. And then today, I did have an interval that I was supposed to work this morning, but I overslept. So, I ended up, I was able to pick up an interval though for tomorrow, I think, either tomorrow or Tuesday. But y'all, I've got to get that under control. And it's only because, like, I don't miss intervals just like that. But this just happened to be one of those mornings where I apparently I didn't hear my alarm go off. And um, it's my own fault. I really need to try to balance out this whole staying up late thing. Because, like, I'm a night person, but I'm not a morning person. But I'm not a, like, I, I, I don't mind staying up late. Like, I can do that all day but not every day <laughs> like I'm realizing that as I'm getting older like at one point yeah I could stay up every night all day every day no problem jump back and like it's nothing right but I can't do that anymore like I'm starting to realize that over the past a uh, few weeks or so or maybe even a little over a month because I've been trying to be more self-aware about my health and stuff like that and girl Staying up late to 3, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning every single night has definitely taken a toll on my body. So my whole sleeping pattern is off, girl. And, girl, it just be a whole mess in the morning. I'm already not a morning person. But I'll get up if I have to get up. That's the thing. And this morning, I didn't hear the alarm, so I didn't get up. And I slept right through my animal. So... Like I said, I did pick up one for tomorrow. It's a little bit later in the evening, though, but it's cool. It is what it is. So I'll be doing that tomorrow. I'm pretty much working most of the day tomorrow. Uh, I've got a couple of agents starting their certification class tomorrow. So there's an email that I've got to get them out. Well, I really should have got it out to them yesterday. Um, but I got stuck on what else to put in the email and really it's just repeated information their instructors had sent me had copied me on an email that they sent them so really I was just it was just going to be like a something like a reminder you know type of situation nothing major um, so it's not nothing in other words it wasn't anything that needed to go out to them it was just something extra that I was going to do. Uh, I, think, I thought we had some more soda. But anyway, so today, well right now, I am trying to get through Olivia's room. Because you guys know how kids, if you have kids, then you understand. You know we tell our kids to clean their room. And yeah, it's clean to their standards, to what they feel is clean. But then at us as parents, we go in there and clean a whole different way, right? Where we find all sorts of stuff. So that's where I'm at with that right now. So I'm trying to get that out of the way. So I'm about to take y'all in here and kind of go through my thought process with her room. Alright, so let's go. All right, you guys, so this is where we are in Olivia's room right now. Um, I'm just taking my time with this. I mean, I'm not like in a rush to get this done by today. I'm just kind of taking my time and not putting pressure on myself. Um, right now, I'm going through her books. I pulled this shelf out of the hallway. So this is part of my stockpile. And um, I put her TV over here. I'd been saying that I was going to get her a bookshelf, but guys, I haven't gotten to it. So we're just going to do this for right now and pull all of her books out. So the reason why I'm in her room today is for three reasons. One, to get it clean. Two, to get it kind of up, uh, upgraded a little bit to her age range. And three, so that uh, she can, I guess... 
I don't know you guys I guess work better while she's in school and stuff in here um because I felt like you know there would be times where I was you know be working or whatever and then I'd have like a little quick you know break or something a few minutes to come in here and peep my head in and there was a lot of times where I noticed that because her bed was turned this way she would literally be sitting in her chair like this not fully facing the screen but she would have her head turned that way but her feet would be on the end of the bed so <clears throat> the first thing I did when I came in here was turn the bed around because I'm like okay listen I have to do as much as I can to possibly make this situation somewhat better on my end um, when it comes to her focus and stuff like that now yeah the school year is over with so her grades are probably final at this point but while she's doing the summer program she needs to be focused and involved and you know participating in it and stuff like that so I felt like her bed facing that way just made her a little too comfortable which would probably I'm pretty sure there's been times where she drifted off without me knowing I have come in here at times and found that she was asleep and I would have to wake her up and stuff so virtual learning you guys has been a ch challenge let me turn you guys around so yeah virtual learning has truly been a challenge you guys like you know at first in my mind when if when everything started happening you know when the kids had to stay home and stuff in my mind I'm like okay well this isn't going to be that bad because she's going to be at school I'm going to be at work I'm going to continue to work and do what I do even you know what I would normally do if she was going to school right I work while she's at school and then I do everything else after that but what was happening over time and at, like I said in the beginning, everything was okay, everything. But then like months and months went by and you know, here we are a year later. And um, just over the time, I've noticed different things, you know, that I couldn't, I guess, change at the time. So like, for example, um, there has been times where, like I said, there has been times where I walked in here and she was asleep and stuff like that. So... Other than trying to give her extra work to do, which is why I've signed her up with this summer program, and I've got her doing these pamphlets, which, by the way, shout out to Ian, I think his name is. He commented under a video about that and gave me a suggestion on how to use those pamphlets outside of her doing the puzzles and stuff. So, I did see your comment. I just didn't have the opportunity to thumbs it up and give it a heart. But thank you, thank you, thank you for that for that suggestion because it didn't even cross my mind to do that um at the time when I was talking about it so I was like oh, okay cool I don't know why I didn't think of that but yeah so I'm just trying to do the best that I can um those grades her grades kind of put me in a fun it really kind of made me act y'all it put me in a funk a little bit and it had me questioning myself as a parent you get what I'm saying because I think about the whole situation and yeah it is it was a change for everybody and I think that everybody was doing the best that they could under the circumstances I'm pretty sure I'm not the only one who is going through frustrating times with this um you know like not being able to get into the classroom or trying to figure out what class you know your kid's supposed to be in what work they're doing just a whole lot a whole lot of right so when I saw that you know I started thinking about all the reasons that she could possibly be you know getting these grades and I really couldn't think of any like I, I was trying what I was trying to do was think of that was there anything that I did or didn't do you know could I have been more involved or could I have been more on top of her grades with her and doing her work and stuff like that and I feel like I was already doing all that um 
so I don't know you guys I was really like hard on myself about it like really questioning myself about everything because it was like all of a sudden I talked to my mom the other day and was talking to her about it and even she was saying you know it was like all of a sudden because she's maintained good grades throughout the whole year so then like all of a sudden I don't know what the problem is so it's not a household thing you know sometimes you wonder well what's going on at the home well, there is nothing going on at home. Like, this is not a toxic household, you know. There's no verbal abuse. There's no mental abuse here. There's no physical abuse. No one's being neglected, you know. Nothing like that. So, when I see stuff like that, it does kind of hit me hard. Because I'm like, well, dang, you know, what did I not do, you know, or what did I do that made you stop caring, basically. So, that's how I took that. So, anyway. Okay, so with her books, I went through all of the books that she had on the shelf to see which ones we were going to keep and which ones we were going to get rid of. Or not get rid of, but like donate. Put these down here. And I put all her books down here. So now I've just got to find something. Um, to put on the end to keep this from falling over at the end there and these books she doesn't need these anymore they're too uh, um, she's advanced past the like easy reader books so these are just books that she's had forever basically some of the first books that she received from people um, books that I bought at the thrift store, you know, a long time ago when she was learning how to read and all that stuff when she was like in the first, second grade. We just held on to them for whatever reason, no real reason to be honest. But yeah, so these are all gonna get donated. And then I think she's probably gonna wanna keep this. Her grandmother gave her this uh, so many years ago. She had a Frozen on one of her birthdays. Well, actually, two of her birthdays, she had the Frozen theme. And, well, one birthday was a Frozen theme. And then the second, one of her other birthdays, some years ago, she had Princess theme. So, um, kept that. That was one of her gifts. And then, that's it. These shoe boxes, they were on the shelf. I did take those down because I realized I actually have these shoes listed on eBay right now. And I don't know why I thought we had gotten rid of those boxes, but apparently we didn't. And then these books right right here, I'm just going to kind of see what they go for on, on um, line. And see, these are Caillou books. So it's a set of three. And then I've got some Mark Brown books with uh, DW author. And then I've got these special times uh bible prayers without the dvd though i don't think all of these have I'll, actually i don't think any of these have the dvd in them olivia's had these for years as well so i think i might list these or i might donate them i don't know you guys we'll just have to see i'm just going with the flow i'm not even going to overthink this process but that's just an idea with that and then um, I haven't gotten to her craft stuff. I'm still doing her books. So just pulling out. Uh, she's got these two books. So these need to go down here. And then with her craft stuff, what I think I'm, well, what I'm thinking about doing is I really like this uh, this box. It's a shoe box that she received some, um, I forget what kind of shoes they were, but they're the Philadelphia Eagles. Y'all know Babe loves the Philadelphia Eagles, but these were the boots. He had got her some of these, so, um, I told her to hold on to the box because the box is actually pink. It looks, it probably looks red on camera, but the box is actually pink, and y'all know I like animal print everything, so, what I'm thinking about doing with this box, I just had some stuff in my hand, oh, right here. So, you know, simple. 
that way all of this stuff is in one space because we tried to give it like its designated areas like bins and stuff but it's just becoming too much and i'm over it so like all of these different pens and stuff and markers and all of that like all of this needs to be in one spot not to mention over here there's more oh that's her her doll stuff but there's more look at that craft stuff like pins but here's the rest of it because we got a ton of it for her uh was it for christmas don't get me the line. I can't even. Oh, it was just because. That's what it was. It was just because so that she can do something other than playing online games, you know. Which, by the way, she wants a YouTube channel where uh, she's filming herself playing Roblox or Roblox. Roblox. I think that's how you say it. I don't know. Do you think she's too young for that? For her to have her own YouTube channel? Comment down below. I know a lot of other kids have it, but she's not other kids, so. <laughs> Period. We're not gonna do follow the leader, you know? One thing I do teach her is to, is to be a leader, not be a follower, so. I might need to put these in a sandwich bag. But yeah, so I'm gonna continue to work on this and then at the end of the day, we'll just kind of see where we are with it. Look at all these headsets that I've gone through this year, <sighs> except for this, this is a charger, but that I've gone through this year for virtual learning. This is the headset she's using now, but the mic doesn't work. And then this is just what's in here. I have a headset, a couple of headsets in my room that she was using for school and Miraculously, the head, the ear part doesn't work, the mouth part doesn't work. So we're down to the one headset in the whole house and that's the headset that I use for work. So she's been trying to get that headset, but I'm like, girl, like I literally just picked this up off the floor. And this was my original headset when I first started taking calls. So girl, I keep telling her money do not grow on trees. And for some reason she thinks it does, so she's always asking me for a headset but every time I give her one she tears them up or just leaves them laying around and oh yeah what am I gonna do with my baby she stresses me all the way out all right so this is what and it's not super super I mean listen it's not a magazine okay but it's clean um it's not a magazine cover but it's clean <laughs> Okay, I just got a photo of that sheet over there, got her shoes over there, got her books and stuff down here. Now this fan, I did take the table out of here, so I don't know. I'll probably, when my husband gets home, I'll probably have him help me pull this dresser out and plug the fan up here and just have it sitting right there. Because I'm taking that table and that chair out of here. It was just too much. Um, closet is done. I just shifted all the coats to this side. So coats and dresses, pants and shirts, all her book bags that she's had over the past few years. These composition notebooks, I'm just going to donate them. Um, but I'm going to tear the pages out of these. And I was looking through each of these. And girl, look what I discovered. The baby song intro. I don't even listen to the baby. 
But I don't know where she got these lyrics from, but it's going in the trash. It's going in the trash because, girl, look at that. It says, thinking about my grandma and sh I got the number one record. They acknowledge the they girl. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to tear those out because these are from when she was in the... the I don't know what grade, but whatever. Obviously, she wasn't paying attention to her work even then. Girl, sorry, y'all. I ain't trying to be low vibrational. Listen, this is just my reality, okay? Um, It is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, although it is me and my husband, honestly, you guys, it's like, it's like I'm a single parent with the other parent in the house. So, hopefully, as you watch my videos, you'll kind of see... As I'm more transparent with everything, you'll try, you'll kind of see, you know, where my frustration kicks in from times and stuff like that. Because, y'all, some days I'll be like, this can't be my life. But, you know, I'm grateful. I'm happy for everybody in my life. But, girl. Anyway, so I'm done with that. So nothing's over here. I purposely took that chair from over there. So now the next room that I have to do... I was trying to wait on Quay to come and clean up this room because this right here is what I don't like, okay? To me, this is so disrespectful. You know, the kids, we have a three-bedroom so that the kids can come and if they need a place to stay. But every time they come and need a place to stay, this is how they leave the room. They never come back and clean it up. So, guess what? This room has now become unavailable. You know what I'm saying? And I told my husband that this room is unavailable now because no one was paying rent when they were here. You've got this room. The least you could have did, and it's not just for him, my stepdaughter too. The least they could have did was clean up the room. Leave it the way they found it when they came in. Okay? So this is going to be another tackle probably tomorrow. And I need to, um, this bed, I'm going to go ahead and sell it. I'm going to put it together. And I'm gonna put, I'll probably list it on uh, Facebook Marketplace. I've never posted anything in Facebook Marketplace. So we'll see how that go. That lamp needs to be trashed. It's broken. Um, like all this stuff. Y'all, anyway. Yeah, so got to work on that. So let me go see what Olivia's got going on because she caught herself being mad at me. Oh, she ain't even in here. Okay, anyways, you guys, if you like the content, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And this is going to be the end of this vlog. I might start up another vlog before the end of the night. But anyways, you guys, thank you so much for viewing my channel. Um, make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss on any content that I upload to the channel. And I will see you guys on another video. Bye.